Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Tiffany, your favorite stuttering speech therapist. Um, and today I am going to continue on a series that I started my last video, last week's video, um, on some interesting fluency enhancing mechanisms, some weird phenomenon that make pe pe people who stutter um, fluent or the lack of stuttering. So it makes us not stutter. It's crazy. We don't totally understand why these work, um, but they're cool. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about an effect called the <laughs> the adaptation effect. And what this is, is um, we have found in research over the many years people have been studying, 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 stu stuttering, um, that if someone who stutters reads or says the same thing over and over, like right after each other, then it makes us not stutter. Um, like progressively, it makes our stutter less severe the more we do it. So if I read, read, read the same like paragraph, um, the first time I'll stutter a lot for me, and the next time I'll stutter less, the next time I'll stutter less, and the, 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 the next time I'll stutter less, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's kind of crazy. So I'm going to show you guys that today um, in person. So I'll be reading out of this textbook. What do I have today? So I just have textbooks in my apartment these days. Um, this is my phonetics book from when I was, when I was in my undergraduate classes in speech pathology. Um, so I'll be reading the same short paragraph. I won't make you listen to too much because I'm going to stutter pretty severely on it probably. Um, and then I'll, I'll read it again and again and again, and you'll see just how much better it gets. By better, I mean like how much less frequent I stutter. Okay. All right. Ready? And this is the real stuttering. Usual term term for this type of R sound is that it is bunched. It could be described as a bunched rhotic approximate. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because um, reading's really hard for me. I stutter pretty severely on it. I used, you guys saw. Um, so I'm going to read the next sentence again. The usual term for this type of R sound is that it is bunched. It, it, it could be described as a bunched rhotic approximate. Okay, again. The usual term for this type of R sound is that it is bunched. It could be described as a bunched rhotic approximate. Okay, again. The usual term for this type of R sound is that it 
is bunched. It could be described as a bunched rhotic approximant. Again, the usual term for this type of R sound is that it is bunched. It could be described as a bunched rhotic approximant. One more time. The usual term for this type of sound is that it is bunched. It could be described as a bunched rhotic approximant. Okay, so a little crazy, right? Like, the more I read each, it each t time, the less I stuttered. Um, at the beginning, you couldn't see that much of a difference. I stuttered in just about every word um, for the first probably like three times, but it got shorter and shorter, less severe mm -hmm, blocks where blocks are where really kind of like, get stuck. I have a lot of those. Um, a lot of adults who stutter have a lot of blocks. Um, yeah, and so they got shorter and shorter and shorter, and then as I progressively continue to read it, um, I stuttered on fewer words, and then by the end, I was stuttering pretty mildly. Kind of crazy, right? Like, it's a pretty significant difference. The weirdest thing, I think, about this is that the, the, the effect does not last, which I'm sure is what everyone's thinking. Like, why don't you just, like, you know, practice saying everything over and over, and then you won't stutter stutter at all, right? Well, it's not how it works. So it's about the timing of it. So um, I read them back to back to back to back and I didn't have any time between them. And so I was more fluent. But now that I've been talking for a couple of minutes, the effect is probably worn off already. So I'll try again and you guys, can, you guys can see that potentially. We'll see. Okay. The 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 you usual term for this type of our sound is that it is bunch. Okay, I'm just going to stop because you guys see that it's basically as severe as it started. Um, so the adaptation effect wore off. So it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit of a mystery. Um, like many things about stuttering, um, we still know so little about the disorder, even though it's been a around for a long time. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is the adaptation effect. Um, so, uh, you guys feel more informed. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this one is hard because I don't really have a good explanation for it. Like, I do, like, choral speech, which I have another video about. You guys can watch my first video of the phenomenon of stuttering um, and, and see about that one. I have more of an explanation scientifically, but um, this one's just kind of a weird one. Um, so uh, if you guys have questions, comments, um, you know, ideas, uh, leave them below. If you stutter and this is a thing that works for you or doesn't work for you, leave a comment below and let me know because um, everyone's different. These are, these are things that tend to work for people people who stutter, but everyone who stutters is different, so um, they don't work for everyone. Um, so let me know if they do or if they don't. Also, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, um, like, comment, all that stuff, and I will see y'all next week with another interesting phenomena about stuttering. So, until then, bye!